NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has discovered that a beam emitted by a black hole facilitates the occurrence of stellar eruptions. Greetings to everyone. The focus of today's video centers on a discovery made by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which has identified a correlation between a black hole jet in the M87 galaxy and an increase in nova eruptions. Notably, there are twice as many novae occurring in proximity to the jet compared to other regions. This observation implies that the jet may exert an influence on adjacent double star systems, potentially expediting the transfer of hydrogen to white dwarfs and resulting in more frequent eruptions. Researchers find this interaction perplexing, highlighting a gap in the current understanding of black hole dynamics. The unique capabilities of Hubble facilitated this important observation, showcasing heightened stellar activity surrounding the black hole. Without further delay, let us begin our discussion. Researchers are perplexed by the discovery as they seek an explanation. While we are uncertain about the underlying mechanisms, this finding is indeed very exciting, stated lead author Alec Lessing from Stanford University. It indicates that our comprehension of the interaction between black hole jets and their environment is incomplete. In a double star system, a nova occurs when an aging, swollen normal star transfers hydrogen onto its companion, a depleted white dwarf. Once the white dwarf accumulates a hydrogen layer approximately a mile deep, this layer detonates akin to a massive nuclear explosion. The nova eruption does not obliterate the white dwarf. Instead, it expels its outer layer and subsequently resumes the process of drawing fuel from its companion star initiating a new cycle of nova outbursts. During the surveyed time period, Hubble observed that the frequency of novae occurring in proximity to the jet was twice that of those found in other regions of the vast galaxy. This jet is propelled by a central black hole with a mass equivalent to 6.5 billion suns, which is enveloped by a disk of rotating matter. The black hole, having accumulated a significant amount of infalling material, emits a jet of plasma that extends 3,000 light years and travels through space at speeds approaching that of light. Any object intersecting this high energy beam would be incinerated. However, the recent findings from Hubble suggest that being situated near this intense outflow poses additional hazards. The discovery of a greater number of novae in proximity to the jet suggests that either there exist twice as many double star systems capable of forming novae in that vicinity, or that these systems experience eruptions at double the frequency compared to analogous systems located elsewhere in the galaxy. An intriguing phenomenon appears to be occurring with the star systems that traverse the vicinity of the jet, Lessing remarked. It is possible that the jet is effectively snowplowing hydrogen fuel onto the white dwarfs, resulting in an increased frequency of eruptions. However, it remains uncertain whether this is due to a physical pushing effect. It may instead be attributed to the pressure exerted by the light emitted from the jet. By supplying hydrogen at an accelerated rate, one may observe more rapid eruptions. There could be a factor that is effectively doubling the mass transfer rate onto the white dwarves situated near the jet. The researchers also contemplated the possibility that the jet is raising the temperature of the companion star of the dwarf, leading to an overflow that results in an additional discharge of hydrogen onto the dwarf. Nevertheless, their calculations indicated that the degree of heating is insufficient to produce such an effect. We are not the first to observe that there appears to be increased activity surrounding the M87 jet, stated co-investigator Michael Shara from the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. However, Hubble has revealed this heightened activity with a greater number of examples and a level of statistical significance that we have not previously encountered. Shortly following the launch of Hubble in 1990, astronomers employed its initial faint object camera, FO key, to investigate the core of M87, where a massive black hole resides. They observed that peculiar phenomena were occurring in the vicinity of the black hole. Each time Hubble conducted observations, astronomers detected bluish, transient events, which could signify novae erupting like flashes from nearby photographers. However, due to the FOC's limited field of view, Hubble astronomers were unable to divert their focus from the jet to make comparisons with the adjacent region. 
For more than 20 years, these findings remained intriguingly enigmatic. Over a span of nine months, substantial evidence was gathered regarding the impact of the jet on the stars within the host galaxy, utilizing Hubble's newer wide field cameras to tally the erupting novae. This endeavor posed a significant challenge to the telescope's observing timetable, as it necessitated precise revisits to M87 every five days for additional imaging. The cumulative result of all M87 photographs culminated in the most profound images of M87 ever captured. Hubble identified 94 novae within the one-third of M87 that its camera is capable of capturing. Our focus extended beyond the jet. We were examining the entire inner galaxy. When all known novae were plotted onto M87, it became evident without the need for statistical validation that there is a notable concentration of novae along the jet. This is not a complex issue. Our discovery was made merely by analyzing the images. Although we were indeed taken aback, our statistical evaluations of the data substantiated what was plainly observed, stated Shara. This achievement can be attributed solely to the distinctive capabilities of Hubble. Images obtained from ground-based telescopes lack the necessary clarity to observe novae situated deep within M87. The intense brightness surrounding the black hole prevents the resolution of stars or stellar eruptions near the galaxy's core. It is exclusively Hubble that possesses the ability to identify novae amidst the luminous backdrop of M87. Novae are exceedingly prevalent in the cosmos. In the galaxy M87, a nova occurs daily. Given that there are at least 100 billion galaxies within the observable universe, it is estimated that approximately 1 million novae explode every second in various locations throughout the vast expanse. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.